Hello Aries, this is your reading for June 2021. This will be a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. We're going to check out your energies to see what's going on in June. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos. So we are going to go ahead and dig right in. And all oh, if you like a personal reading, uh, do see the description box below. My website, email, and social media links are there. Okay, so let's, let's dig in, shall we? Nine of Pentacles. This might be a reading for singles. <clears throat> I don't know. But the Nine of Pentacles talks about independence. Independence, being abundant, standing on your own two feet, doing your own thing, and then crossed by the Emperor. Okay? So what we have is we have somebody who is very much in their power. We have Aries energy here. We have Virgo energy. Okay? We have somebody, and this is um, often considered pre empress um, I look more to the Queen of Pentacles for pre empress but this Nine of Pentacles is also there. Okay, somebody might be in pre empress energy. This is an emperor here who is very dominant, and he is looking at his his empress, somebody who's moving into empress energy. Um, this is about setting your boundaries. I think that this is your energy here, Aries, where and this is Aries energy here anyhow. That you are moving into your power. You are setting your boundaries. You're very independent here. Four of Wands. Uh, we also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Magician. Virgo. Gemini Energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Six of Wands in the reverse. Wow. <clears throat> and we have the Five of Wands with the King of Swords and the Three of Cups. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. So, as I was saying, we have somebody who's moving into their power. That's some. It's like taking control. Okay. This is like, I feel the energy of some sort of relationship, some kind of foundations that you had built, some sense of um, stability, maybe even being stuck. Okay. Um, sometimes fours can be stagnation, being stuck in a situation. And you got two fours here. Uh, I feel as though <clears throat> this is a higher level of commitment. Um, it's not Hierophant, but it is the four of wands, which you, this could be a situation where you guys are looking to move in together and maybe you already live together or move in. You were trying to level up, but money might've been a problem. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, which is kind of like an upset of the family dynamic. It, it is like a, not quite reaching your financial goals or or your goals for your for the family itself. There is this need to starting and maybe even starting a new beginning here. But I feel like what this energy is that somebody's home life got upset. The apple cart was upset. And somebody, and what, and you are thinking about <clears throat> what you want to manifest, what you want to get out of this, what you want to get out of your relationships, your partnerships. This is um, manifesting. This is using your resources. So you are like looking at what can I do to improve my situation? And I do feel very much that you are setting some boundaries with somebody. I feel as though that you are. Um, ga gaining control. You may have been dealing with a manipulator, Aries. Uh, now, roles can be vice versa, especially with cross watchers. Okay. But I feel as though that this is an energy of 
you're definitely in a, a starting almost like starting at ground zero. I feel you are taking back your power. You're very fine on your own, but come mid June, you may be coming across a new opportunity or in love and relationships. Okay, there seems like a new romance could be blossoming. So you might be single right now. You might be okay on your own. You might be feeling good on your own because you're in your own power. Okay, <clears throat> you're in your own power. You're in total control. This, um, the past situation that kind of fell apart, you're leaving that behind. And you are manifesting new beginnings. But uh, you are kind of fearing letting go and releasing and opening up. You're very guarded right now, and I feel like you are very much <clears throat> in this closed-off energy. You're in this very guarded energy, and you're really holding on. I think, like, it, you may even be holding on to the experience of the past and, like, thinking, I do not want to go through that again. So you're really keeping your guard up. But I feel as though that you're, you're definitely afraid of opening up. There's a fear of opening up, even though you're manifesting this new opportunity and it's coming knocking on your door, but there's this fear of opening up, okay? And someone is coming to you as an open book. I feel like whoever's coming to you has had similar experiences. They've been down, they've been out, they've been hurt and injured. They're tired of fighting, they're tired of the rat race as well, okay? So it's kind of like the energy of, I'm tired tired and worn down this could even be partially your energy your environment you know i'm tired i'm worn down i don't want to do this anymore and you're hoping that <clears throat> success is going to finally come to you you're you're you've been in this energy of being blinded being like i think i feel like you were blindsided by something here okay and i feel as though that you are hoping things are going to turn around, that you want to manifest success. You might be a little bit pessimistic about it right now. You don't see it coming, but you're hoping that things speed up. It's like you're being recognized and being on top of things, being on top of the world, conquering these fears, conquering your past and moving past it. And I feel like you are hoping that the light of day is coming in soon. There, However, like the potential outcome, what's coming up at the end of June is some competition or it could even be um, some conflicts. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, Aries. You might be dealing with some conflicts. There's um, the sense of change that is coming. And we have this with the King of Swords. So you might be dealing with somebody in a place of authority, maybe a judge or an attorney, especially with this 10 of pentacles in the reverse over here. You know, this could be a divorce situation or this could be fighting with somebody over money. But I feel despite this energy of this conflict and um, you could be fighting with an air sign, but you might... I, this feels like somebody who is an authority figure who's who is um, seeking who is about truth and trying to be fair who is trying to sort things out <clears throat> but I feel this could actually be somebody in like in the court of law to be perfectly honest with the three of pen uh, three of cups here this might be third sorting out a third party situation. That may be what has caused the upset to begin with. But being that this is coming up in the future, this is more of a, uh, I'm feeling a breathing a sigh of relief. You might even be celebrating your independence here. Okay. Um, let's get some clarifiers here. <clears throat> That's, I want to know about more about this Ten of Pentacles. What happened in the past with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, please, Spirit? What is this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, we've got the death in the reverse. So I feel like in the recent past, an ending had, a change has started, a transformation has started. 
it may not be completely over yet until towards the end of June. I think the final decision and you're celebrating freedom is going to happen towards the end of June. Um, maybe the third week of June, you might be dealing with some, um, some conflicts. Um, it's just before the final ending. So I think that something was on its way to an ending point, coming to an end, and because you're ready for a new beginning. So I feel like did you, there is this idea that, you know, this, it's like the, the uh, there, I do feel that there was a split here. And there were money issues, but you're definitely looking at things in a new perspective, a new passionate beginning. So I feel like there is an end starting, but you could not start the new beginning until this has ended. Okay, what is this Ace of Cups, please? Tell me about the Ace of Cups for my Aries. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I feel as though that you are dealing with somebody who's, who hasn't been very giving. You're dealing with somebody that may have been dishonest. And, and it's not, and you, are, you may be trying to heal from it, King of Wands in the reverse. Wow, you got two kings here, so there could be a choice here. Um, I do want to say, Aries, be careful of your choices. Two kings in the reverse, it's dishonesty, and somebody else is a total manipulator. Now, this could be also one of the same person, somebody that's a manipulator. Uh, could be another fire sign as well, or fire in their chart, or earth in their chart. But it's somebody who may have been withholding. I was like, I feel as though somebody was, is, was manipulating withholding finances for some reason. Okay? And... We have the Six of Cups. And it might be over children. Just saying. Or somebody, this is this could have been an ex. They may be in, in mid-June. They're coming through as an ex. You have this chance at a new beginning. But the ex might be manipulating the situation and withholding finances, trying to stop you from moving forward. That's just a little bit of a warning here. Okay. Okay, let's find out more about this environment. What is this ex doing? It's it's like they're wearing you down is what I feel. Uh, what is this nine of uh, wands in the reverse, please? Nine of wands in the reverse. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. It's like somebody's done waiting. Somebody's tired. Somebody's invested a lot here. And they're trying to, they're, they're wearing you down. There's definitely financial issues here. Queen of Swords, and you're not happy about it. Wow. Uh, or this could be their energy. This is somebody who's really pissed off. I think somebody's pissed off because you've taken back your power. Somebody's pissed off that you're leaving them and walking away. They no longer have control or dominion over you. Okay? And you are moving into your Empress energy, Taurus, um, um, Gemini energy. You Here's the Empress to the Emperor here. You know... This feels like this was, you guys could have been married. Feels like a married couple. It feels like um, definitely a power struggle between the two of you. And they are doing everything. They, they're trying to pull all stops to hold you back. But you are very mighty powerful. You know your value. You know your worth. Okay. And you're, you're coming out as abundant. You're coming out as very independent. And you're not putting up with their bullshit. Um, five of Cups in reverse. You have no remorse, or you're not you're not feeling the loss of this at all. You're making the changes, and you are celebrating your freedom, and you are saying good riddance. Okay, so let's get some more clarifiers on this Five of Wands on on this um, outcome here. So I'm just going to pull a bunch of cards, whatever, and we'll see what comes up here. Okay. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. You're no longer going to worry about this. You're not going to fret over this. This is like petty shit, I feel. Um, and 
because you realize that this is not where your happiness is lying. Um, it's like your light was dimmed, but you're not worrying about this anymore. Four of Swords, you're done sitting on things. You're done thinking about it. You're ready to end and start a new chapter, okay? I feel like you're cutting off communications with this person. Um, even though this person is trying to hold you back, you are charging forward. You are making the changes. You're moving. This is pre empress energy. You, you are moving into who you were meant to be. Hierophant, you might even be moving into a new higher level of commitment. Okay? Six of Pentacles. Because you want an even give and take here. That's the bottom line. You're done hiding. You've done enough contemplating. You're coming out of this. Okay? Uh, your patience have really worn thin. And um, even though that person, the person that you're leaving be behind is feeling like they are being cheated. That they, there's been this major injustice. But I feel like the injustice is on your part. You are turning this injustice around to upright. Okay. <clears throat> you may, I think that you may be making this, you could even be making this decision on the fly very quickly. Okay. Not even really taking much time to weigh things out. Um, in court, or, you know, this could even be a judgment. I'm sorry, Aries, they may not go in your favor completely. May not get everything that you wanted, I'm being told. However, you're, there's still going to be a sense of celebration. There's still going to be a sense of, okay, I've got my freedom now. I can now move forward. I may not have got out of this divorce or this separation exactly what I wanted. Um, I might have been treated unfairly. But uh, it's in the past. I am putting it behind me and I am moving forward. Okay? Let's see what other messages we get here for you guys. Okay, we have inspiration. Okay, we have the you be prepared as you will soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, <clears throat> she can call at any time. So you're you're being very inspired. It's like that sense of freedom that I was talking about, and you and shining within. Okay, your happiness starts from within. You're going to be shining from within. Um, this is new. Um, some balance being restored. This is, you're letting your light shine. It's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulder. Let's see, get some additional messages here. Finding balance. Yes, you're going to be making this. Uh, this is about making decisions and finding balance at seeking truth, finding your inner truth. I feel like, um, you know, I think that what, it, what came out is that you were lied to and you found out the truth. And we've got this opening up energy. Okay. So what I'm feeling here is you seeking your truth, finding your inner truth, letting your light shine, finding that inner balance. And opening up to new possibilities because you, you do have a new chance at love here. But you just kind of got to open up to it and be open to it. Don't be closed off. Okay. You know, it's like when one door closes, another one opens. And that's the energy that I am getting right now for you guys. Anyhow, that's what I have. I love you all and blessed be.